everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So I have my gloves on today because we're gonna get a little messy. So what I want to do is take some acrylic paints and I'm going to incorporate my stamps, this little roller, which um, I've got, the, I got this at Home Depot and it is over in the paint section where this is just a, like a little touch up. It's a touch up kit. And I think I paid like maybe 350 or so for it, but it's great. All you gotta do is when you're done using it, you can even leave the paint in there, but I, went, I rinsed it all off because I didn't have much left. So you just put the lid on and stick it into a big Ziploc bag and zip it up and it is good to go and everything will stay fresh. So I wanna use that to roll on to my stamps and I wanna use all my little stamps here and incorporate them with some fabric that I had in my solar dye jar. And I will post that at the end screen so you guys can come check out how to do your own solar um, dye jar. It's great, it's so much fun. But all this is all naturally dyed and it is really fun. So I wanna kinda of incorporate that onto my five by seven watercolor paper. So this is a great, you get like 200, I think, of the watercolors or five by seven. And I'll put the link down below and you guys come check it out if you wanna get them. They're pretty fun. And I want to incorporate some fun little stamps. I think these would be great. So I wanna do that. I wanna glue some pieces of fabric down on it, maybe even do some stitching on my sewing machine and then glue it down. And I just got my Fabrifix glue. And what else, what else? Um, you never know. I might incorporate some other fun things thrown in there. So let me get all this straightened up here. Oh, and also, so your stamps don't get ruined. I have a thing of water, just a big bowl of water. And after I'm done using the stamps and getting the paint and stuff on them, I'm going to throw them over there and get them rinsed off really quick, just so they don't get ruined. And I also have a wet cloth which will come in handy. Like for these, you don't want to throw these in the water. You could just take them and just wipe them off. So, and then they'll be good. All right, so let me get organized here and we'll get started. Okay, so I just went ahead and put some just black paint in here. And this is just, I just got this at Walmart. Just some paint, acrylic paint will do. Any acrylic paint will do. And then I got my little roller. And I also like to use my water spritzer to kind of just keep it so it doesn't dry out. And then we'll just do a little bit. A little roll in here. And I love this at the top up here. You can just get a little bit of paint on there and just kind of roll it out. So you don't have a massive amount of paint on your little roller. Okay. And I got this over here so I can just kind of roll it. And it's just, a, I have a piece of cardboard here with a, uh, a big Ziploc like packaging that came in and I just taped it on the back and fit it to it and it works really good. So this might take a second to get the right, I might put too much on accidentally. I don't let's see, let's see, let's see. So I just wanna stamp it and just start off with stamping. Let me go get my brayer real quick. I just got my brayer so I don't have to press with my hands. Let's see, I might've moved it. Let's see. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so that turned out pretty cool. All right, so I just wanted to test it and see, do a little test with you guys. So I like that. And I'm gonna take some of these pieces and go to my sewing machine and I'm just gonna like I'll do a zigzag all the way down this strip just to get some fun things happening and maybe do some straight stitching and zigzag and some different just stitches. And I'm gonna do that on this too. And then we I wanna glue them down and then do some stamping on top. So I will be back. All right, so I'm just gonna have way too much fun doing this. So let's see. So I did a bunch of different stitches here. Let's see. So this would be fun to cut up and glue down. Okay. 
On base, so I just have my bowl of water over here and I put my rag in there just because I want to wipe my hands in between so I don't get too much of a mess happening. I did a little watermark there, but that might be cool. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my rag over here and I'm gonna let this dry for just a second. All right, so I got that pretty dry. I just took my heat gun to it, and then I'm just gonna take some of this material without any stitching on it, and just do a little rip here. Okay, and I love to keep my threads. I have so many, but they make great clusters and stuff, so I just keep them all over here, and just pull them all off. And if they won't pull, just go ahead and give them a snip. Okay. And I just want to start gluing down. And I decided to go ahead and use a glue stick instead of the Fabrifix because the Fabrifix oozes through the material. And I don't like that. So I'm just going to start doing some patchwork on here and patching it all together and seeing what I come up with. So I'll be back. Okay, so I think this turned out really cool. So I just pieced it together. I actually grabbed out some of my um, coffee dyed fabrics and included those in here. And I will post that uh, on the end screen if you guys wanna see how I do the coffee dyed um, on my fabrics. And look at that, you can see through the fabric right here. You can see the stamp through there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's really cool. Okay, so I got all that done, then I sewed around the edges, and I did some sewing in here. And, uh, of course, sewing's optional, and you can just use a more permanent glue to glue everything down. But I think this turned out really fun. Now I want to take another and do another stamp on there. Okay. So, let's take our roller. I'm thinking this little bird right here would be really cute. So let's roll the bird out. I know I didn't put my gloves back on, but that's okay. The only reason I did my gloves in the first place is because some of my, uh, the other ink word one has permanent ink on it. So I didn't want to get that on my hands. And these are newer, so I don't think there's any permanent ink. And I hate getting permanent ink off my hands. Okay, so. I'm gonna do major, let's try this. It's a good press. Oh, that is really neat. I like it. Okay, so we got that one. And then let's take and do is this one too big. Hmm, maybe here. That might be kind of cool. So just look through and see what fits where. I kind of, you know, 
how I always start off. I have a kind of an idea <laughs> and then it turns into something totally different, but I love it. I think this turned out really cool. So it's kind of just a process of, let's see what happens here. And I loved it. I think it turned out great. Make sure it all contacts. So you can kind of tell what it is. I kind of like the um, leaves part. So just play around with your stamp, see what you got. See how it looks. So I like those. I think that's kind of cool how it matches those a little. So there's that one. Okay. I should rinse this one off. So just make sure to rinse them off. Once you get them good and rinsed, uh, they'll do good, you know. But if you keep them caked on with the paint, then you probably won't get as good of a print next time. So I just do that and give it a good, good rinse and a good wipe. Okay, so let's see. I want to do something right here. And I'll look through. Let me look through my stamps real quick. All right, so I got this one. And let's see. Maybe we can just do just the flower part. So that turned out really fun. I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys think. Okay, so we got that one and then maybe something up here. Okay, so this is one of my newer stamps. I just got it like a Dollar General. They had a stamp, so just a note. I wonder if that would look cool just right here. So let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna dip this one a little bit just to get it off. I just kind of dipped it in there. And then you just do a quick wipe. And there you go. See, they still look good. So just make sure. Just don't let them sit too long. Um, well, you don't think I want to do congratulations. No congratulations. We got to thank you. I just was thinking something longer. But I think just a note would be kind of cool. Because what I'm thinking, and let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I want to make a good amount of these pretty much the same concept and make them into journal cards digitally to put in my Etsy shop. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that because I think this would be great. You can cut these up and uh, make them journal cards and stuff. So that's why I'm thinking something here. You can even cut it and then just use this part. You can cut here and use this part, you know, to make your own master boards with them and kind of do, uh, you could do all kinds of stuff. I mean, this could even be a cover of a journal, a little cute little journal. See, I'm just lightly, because you don't want to overdo it. So yes, let me know. I think that would be great. I think it'd be fun to make these into digitals. Okay. So let's try that. Oh, there we go. So that's really, really cool. Okay. So I'm going to give it a dip. Just, just the tip like that. You don't want to dip your whole, because uh, you don't want the glue to come off the little wooden part here. So I just do a quick dip and wipe her down. Okay. So this looks really good. All right. So now I'm going to take my ink and just ink around the edges. Uh, I think we're done. I'm just going to do some black soot. Give it a quick ink around. Okay, so there we go. I think we are all done. And I hope you guys found this informational. And yeah, if you guys could please 
subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys will see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.